US ISB Rail Association is a nonprofit industry trade association to promote high speed rail in America. And we launched in 2009, right after the president launched the high speed rail program, to help organize the industry, to help put out a bolder vision for the country, and to help uh, educate everybody about the reasons we need to do it and the benefits that it would deliver to America. And as you'll see here, we launched our national map at that time to show kind of a big vision for the country and how we could build this out, uh, kind of following the interstate highway system, how we built it throughout the nation, and we started piece by piece and added up across the country. And the real benefits that High Speed Rail will deliver to the country is it will save us an enormous amount of energy and will get us out of being stuck in traffic or stuck on airports and runways. And so we're really one of the only industrialized nations in the world that doesn't have high speed rail. And so we really, as, as a nation, our entire economy is suffering because of that, because we waste so much time stuck going nowhere and it, our, our time is not as efficient as other countries and people around the world who do have high speed rail. Uh, I would say the biggest obstacle is that uh, Congress doesn't understand the value of it and is not putting uh, enough funding behind it. It was really the President's initiative and his own personal push along with the Vice President that got the first $10 billion into the stimulus bill that got this program launched and got it off the ground. And then Congress did not follow through with um, some real money in the transportation bill or any other money for an ongoing program. So it's, it's still kind of in its infancy and um, a lot of education still needs to be done to members of Congress of the great value of this and how this will solve a lot of the problems that they're dealing with in terms of our economy is in bad shape, a lot of unemployment, real estate is down, uh, our energy costs are going up every day, and high-speed rail actually addresses every single one of them. So it's something that they're not quite on board with yet. There, there are members of Congress who are very much on board, but we don't have the majority of them yet. And so I think once we get to that point, they will put some serious funding behind it and we will get moving on it. Uh, well, we, we have the Acela, which some call high-speed rail. We don't really consider it high-speed rail. It is a good rail system because you, it's the easiest way to get to New York from here. Um, but the train average is only about 70 or 80 miles an hour. Most of the trains in Europe go, the minimum speed is 186 miles an hour all the way up to 220. And they do that literally from the time they pull out of the station solid all the way to the other station. They don't stop and start and slow and speed like the Acela does. So um, we have a, a bit of a ways to go. But to get those kind of systems, you have to build all new infrastructure. You can't do what we did with the Acela by squeezing it in and sharing freight, that same track with freight trains and all that. It's just, you can't go, it's not safe to go those kind of speeds in that condition. So it needs its own separate corridor, just like how our metro system works. It's on its own track and it can go full speed and, and you know rarely is there ever any delays or problems. So that's really how they're built all over the world and, and they're all electric. So that's the beauty of this conference here we're at is, is that you know, they can all be powered by renewable energy as we scale that up around the country. So it, it goes hand in hand with uh, a sustainable society and having renewable energy powering an electric rail system. You can't get any greener than that. Well, high-speed rail will deliver to America a wonderful new form of transportation that will save everybody time, energy, and money, make our lives easier, get, you know, help you to get to your destination more quickly, more efficiently, and you get there refreshed and happy. You don't get there beat up and mad like many times how you feel when you go on an airplane. So it's something that we'll, we'll all benefit from. So we really all need to get on board and help promote it.